The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the Swarm. The Swarm? I am on my way, Talus. May Adun hide you until I arrive. Selnaga 
that may aid us in averting eternal desolation. Now, I must return to my people. They will not understand my actions, but I will face their judgment. Make them understand, for only Artanis, young hierarch of the Protoss, can unite our scattered factions as one before Amon's wrath engulfs the galaxy. Threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul! Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! Seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. Yes. 
You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Entaro Artanis, brother. Smith Carax, I have been looking for you. Artanis, oh, praise Your the nerve cords, they must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come, we must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? 
The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun. I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. engineering and last of the three great arc ships each created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time within its chambers rest contingents of zealots templar who bravely sacrificed entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army though it pains me greatly i have begun severing their nerve cords the ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Carax, and we will free the Templar. Preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the caller. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every ripple. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylon. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here.
Their hearts are bound by honor. Tradition. Battle is waged in the name of the many. The brave, whose generation after generation choose the mantle of Dark Templar. Vessel, this is Commander James Raynor. Artanis? Mayor, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybridly in them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grad. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not?
Ohana. Preserver. Rohana! Artemis! Amon! I see your doubt, your fear. You were so alone, mewling in the darkness. Let me release you, all of you, from the suffering of this life. are little more than poison, Amon. Your actions bring nothing but death. They bring purpose, an end to a cycle not within had chosen. Your resistance will only bring unneeded suffering. You must separate from the Kala. Its light has faded. I will keep him at bay. I will endure. I have felt his rage, seen his truth. If you will not sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. Hierarch, I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Selnaga. I believe the keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. It cannot be. I... I must be in error. The Alterian Rift! That is impossible. Nothing could survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zerat. 
tool. Shakuras. Queen of Blades. I have come seeking the Zelnog. destined to emerge. One, pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change, and one, pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle.
so easily broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer! Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter of the us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened the gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. Rohana. Rohana! You sought honor, and now you have found it. The cradle of life, both your beginning and your end. Release her, Amon. Do you seek deliverance within these empty halls? You will find none here. Only the truth of the Zelnaga's failure. Let. Her. Go! I offer a gift. Release in oblivion. Silence! <laughs> signs disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, 
Mobius Corps vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction Impudence. you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die He is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. Time for retribution. We will set a course for ire. Left of you. You are wrong. 
We are finally free to become something more, and you will not stop us! Brace yourself for the full might of the Firstborn! My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end. And with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity! Solendis! Templar! Rid yourselves of Amon! Sever your nerve cords! We are one in the color. Without the color, what will we become? Free. The Dark One has been banished back into the Void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors. Rebuild our cities. 
We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. How can this be? The Hierarch, we are receiving an unauthorized transmission. It is from Ulnar. It is Kerrigan. We have waited long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. My mentor! How can this be? Honored one, to see you bring such joy to my... Tassadar, a form I chose to inspire action in the one called Zeratul. In you. The prophecies Zeratul followed. The result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue. The 
infinite cycle. Selnaga? You want to change her? Into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zalaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah, you don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed, there's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. It is over, Amon.
You about ready to get out of here, cowboy?